we're going to do the roast uh, turkey and all the trimmings. I'm going to make a lovely, flavorful turkey broth or turkey uh, stock to use for the gravy, because everybody loves gravy, don't they? And we'll render that down until all the, the liquid turkey fat comes out, and we'll use that. My favorite of all in the end is the lovely buttery, herby stuffing that my mother-in-law, Myrtle Allen, uh, taught me how to make uh, when I came to Ballymead. It was very similar to my own mother's recipe, and it has no sausage meat and no chestnuts and none of all the other stuff in it, but it's lovely and light and buttery and so on, and I think, honestly, much better than a heavier stuffing on Christmas Day, because they're already the meal is going to be rich enough as it is. Now, and this was... <laughs> I'm so ancient, I remember life before electricity. I mean, you think I'm out of the ark, but anyway. Uh, so there were no magic mixes, I can tell you, or things like that when I was a child. But nowadays, of course, it's much simpler. If you have a food processor, like this one here. Oh, God, it just looks so good, doesn't it? Now, yep. Well done. Gorgeous. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, Maria asks, hi, can I ask if you are getting a turkey crown, what is the best way to cook the stuffing to keep it moist? Yeah. So the best thing to do would be to put the stuffing underneath the yeah. crown, I'm mm -hmm. sure, and then the juices would go down uh, into it. And they'd probably just laugh at you. Look at that now, is that not impressive? Trina, that's very impressive. I think it's very impressive, and it's a while I've, since I've done this. And what you can do then is you can put this onto the legs like that, bring it into the dining room, and you can go, ba dong ba dong ba dong ba dong, ba -dong. There we are, and everybody goes, oh, ho, ho. <laughs> there we are. And then sprinkle some of those toasted hazelnuts uh, over the top. So how nice would that be? Traditional roast stuffed turkey, um, lots and lots of stuffing, and all the juices are in the stuffing there, which is lovely. Uh, we have um, then Brussels sprouts, lots of lovely roasty potatoes. Why don't I put that bit of parsley on top of the roast potatoes? That's lovely. And uh, then we have uh, some cranberry sauce, and some bread sauce. So there you have all the trimmings. Happy Christmas and a wonderful Happy New Year to all of you.